Hi, my name's Charlie Borman, and I'm here to try and help you get through Christmas, and especially the, all those little ups and downs. So this is my, I suppose you would call it my survival guide to surviving Christmas. <laughs> Don't skimp on the, on the main course. If you are gonna do a, a, and cook and make a big effort, I think it is well worth going to a, a local good butcher and getting a, a really decent piece of meat. You know, make sure that you get your, your, your turkey or whatever meat you're gonna have. Make sure that you don't forget to actually order it. One of the things that I experienced when I did MasterChef was, was to get things done um, as early as possible and prepare stuff as, as early as possible. So if you're doing red cabbage, for instance, you can do that two days before. And the longer you actually leave it, the better it tastes. Once you've done all your Christmas cooking and you seem to have got that in control, the next thing is people turn up. And one of the funnest things that, that, that we always do is we always have a nice cocktail to get everybody going. And um, as my sister always says, it's always nice to, you know, she always hands people a glass of, of something and says, here, have a glass of personality. I always think it's a good idea to have your family and then mix it up with friends as well so, so that your family can't misbehave. During Christmas dinner or lunch, um, we always put a little a little dare in. So under the knife and fork, you slip a bit of paper that only they can read, and and they're given a dare to to something they have to perform over lunch and not and not get caught doing it. Like for instance, every time you walk out of the the, the room, you have to pirouette or you have to keep topping up someone's glass beside you without them realizing. The other side of it is to have lots of games as well planned, treasure hunt and, and bingo and I mean you name it we, we play it, especially if there's teenagers or young kids or even grown-ups love playing games so that's always a fun way of, of, of keeping everybody happy and entertained. Presents, gifts, um, stocking fillers, all that kind of stuff is really, really complicated. And certainly for me, I, I find it very frustrating and I tend to leave things far too late. Ordnance Survey are, are doing this fantastic map so you can personalize it. If you can choose a, a particular place or your parents' home or, or maybe you've climbed Ben Nevis with six mates and they'll make a map around that particular place. And then you can customize the cover and you can create a wonderful personal gift that only takes 10 minutes. Absolutely wonderful little stocking filler. So there you go, that's my survival guide to Christmas. I hope maybe some of it has helped you. Um, and all that's left for me to say is have a very Merry Christmas.